Hi everyone, welcome to Tripling Adventures with Bill Clark. Last weekend I went on a hike to Monk's Pool, it was five kilometres. And when I got home, the person I was walking with messaged me and asked me what my maximum heart rate was. I told them, and it was less than that. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do a discussion on heart rate. Uh, obviously, I ride bicycles quite a bit, so I've noticed over the, the seven years that I've been seriously riding, that my heart rate has obviously got lower, but sometimes it can I can go on a ride and not be able to get my heart rate up into the 150s, uh, and other times it will go very easily. And uh, as I said to my friend, it's there's all sorts of factors that affect your heart rate. It can be the fact you may be fighting an infection and you're not aware of it yet, or it could be something that you ate or lack of sleep. So. I know a lot of cyclists use power meters and I've not decided to go that route, but I, I do uh, do competitions, but I'm not really that um, worried about winning. So I've not gone to the extent of getting a power meter. So I do use my heart rate and find it, a heart rate monitor and find it useful. At least I can make sure that I'm not uh, pushing myself too hard. So it's difficult to compare with other people, your heart rates, but you can use it as a tool um, for yourself to see how things are going and if you are, you know, you may have an infection or you're pushing yourself too hard or, or you may have had too much coffee. Well, I hope that's useful. Um, if you find my videos interesting, please subscribe and give this video a thumb up. It would be really in, um, interesting to hear your comments down below about heart rate. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.